Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today it is the huge mid-Ohio draft horse sale in Mount Hope, Ohio. Today they're gonna have the crossbreed sale. There's gonna be so many horses. The catalog's absolutely massive. You saw the ponies before, that was so much fun. There were so many cute ones, but today we're gonna see a ton of horses, all draft crossbreeds. It's gonna be really exciting. So I can't wait to take you along with me. Let's get right into looking at the horses. So this here is a beautiful national show horse, and this is a registered Arabian and American saddlebred cross. Just absolutely gorgeous. This draft team was so cute. I love that they are pintos and they are just absolutely beautiful, probably spotted drafts. I'm curious on what color you think this horse is. Let me know in the comments. The horse does have a dorsal stripe and it looks like the horse is clipped as well. Totally gorgeous. You guys enjoying your, the three studios? That's so cute. Love your blue eye. You are absolutely beautiful. I thought this Overo Overo paint was beautiful. The horse was green broke, but did have a little bit of a wind puff in the back. A little bit of swelling back there. The horse next to him was super gorgeous as well. I love seeing all these decent looking horses. It's really nice change of pace in comparison to some auctions. And this is more of a higher end sale. So you are gonna see horses go for a lot higher prices. They're gonna be in way better condition and people actually do seem to put the time and effort into them, which is great. This horse, oh my gosh, just stunning, well-built, beautiful. <laughs> like the build. Yeah, this is what I'm into. This bay was so well-built and stocky, just a good bone structure. That's what I'm about. And oh my gosh, this Belgian, I don't know if it was a cross, the mane, just absolutely stunning. I love seeing all these gorgeous horses. The Shire was super pretty as well. I mean, it's just really amazing seeing these beautiful breeds and such diversity. Hi. Oh, it's a Morgan. See, it's the Morgan. You were drawn <laughs> to the Morgan. <laughs> Can't help it. You are a goofball. Silly pony. This Palomino Quarter Horse mare was beautiful. So something I'm really into for me personally is a short back. So this mare had a longer back, nothing wrong with it. She could be perfectly sound and functional, but I think a short back equals a stronger back. So that's what I keep an eye out for as well. Okay, now we're gonna head out to the hitching area and see some of the horses move for a little bit. The nice part about bigger auctions like this and ones that are organized and well run for an auction is that you can actually see the horses be ridden and driven. They're out in a hitching area. It's basically like a giant track slash arena and you get to see everything, how the horse is reacting in that environment, how they're moving. You can do all types of different things with them. People will just be like leading them, trotting them, driving them, riding them. They even have an obstacle course, which I'm going to show you. But yeah, this is really great because you can get a way better indicator of the horse's training, behavior, demeanor. And of course, there is a lot going on. So if a horse is calm in this environment, then they're definitely, you know, probably pretty well trained and been there, done that. Now, of course, there's always things to look out for. Like, you know, horses can be drugged. You're never going to know for sure, especially at an auction, but it just gives you more of an idea, which is nice. In the back, you can see the obstacle course a little bit, and that's just really nice to have, and a lot of people do take the horses through it. Look at this gorgeous draft horse. I think it's a Clydesdale. And then this, like, tricolor Tobiano was beautiful. This roan, there's just so many, like, perfectly gorgeous horses here today. A lot of roans. I just cannot believe how many roans are here. And then this super cute little POA, just adorable. You know I'm a sucker for spots. Another gorgeous roan. How are there so many roans? And Kyle's not with me this time, so. <laughs> but I would definitely want one someday. These two were so beautiful and cute. I love the blue eye. I love the color. And they were just so friendly and kind. They look like they're a little bit younger. Now look at this hunk. This is what I'm talking about. Gorgeous blue roan. Love the build. Just a solid horse here beautiful, sweet, friendly. Oh my goodness. Seriously, I wish I was looking to buy it like right now because I love this horse. I'm going to take a look at his teeth, get a little bit of an age estimate because even though there's a catalog, it's not always like 100%. But just look at him. That is a nice horse. And this is even another roan. I mean, they are just everywhere today. It's crazy. 
I've received some comments like you should walk up to the horses more confidently. I am confident, but you need to be very, very cautious, especially at an auction. You don't know how much the horse has been handled unless you see somebody right there handling it. So you just want to be very careful and you don't want to get kicked. So I'm going to just feel down the leg immediately feeling for any like splints or heat, swelling, lumps, bumps, pick up the hoof. I'm looking for any signs of founder, white line, thrush, looking at the hoof condition from what I can tell from just like a visual physical inspection and just looking at the overall confirmation of the horse, their behavior, demeanor, temperament, any signs of pain or discomfort. Now, with that being said, of course, there can be signs of pain or discomfort, but the horses are also in a totally different environment and they could be stressed or scared because of that. So you want to keep that into consideration. But again, it's really hard because you have to make a decision right then and there that day if you're interested in the auction horse or like maybe the night before if they've arrived and you have more time to look them over. But it's not like here in the U.S. you can just have a vet come and do a vet check. I mean, it's pretty rare. So you just really have to know what you're looking for. And I very much want to air you on the side of caution when buying auction horses. Because on average, when I get an auction horse, even if they're kind and sweet and healthy, it takes 6 to 12 months to get them going. Like riding on a regular basis and trained okay in other words it's oftentimes a huge investment of money and time with no guarantee of the outcome of the horse where sometimes with a private sale or somebody that you know or you know more about the horse you can have a little more of an idea so just keep that in mind however at specialty sales like this you are more likely to find a horse that has more training and experience and that's well cared for and again you can look at them out in the hitching area and have a better idea of their movement and training but again of course there's still no guarantee this is that paint we saw earlier just be beautiful i love this horse but again i'm just not quite looking to buy quite yet this stallion i think he was a frisian standard bread he was beautiful and this mare she's definitely heavy and full look at how her belly's dropping breeding season and baby season is here and then look at hank and boomer is that not adorable honestly this horse right here this strawberry roan is probably one of the best looking trained horses at this sale lots of gypsies here today i just love them they're so pretty but i know how much upkeep their hair is now but again i still eventually want another gypsy in the future beautiful i just love their mane and tail and their build and they're so strong and sweet some lovely frisians i mean all these horses just look fantastic out here it's just wonderful to see i love this these two both look so gentle and quiet, just lovely temperaments. Another gypsy, beautiful buckskin behind the gypsy. So we were just at the hitching area and as you can see, you can look at all the horses move and just get an indicator of how they're acting. And it's a crazy environment, so I don't really like hold it against the horses, but it definitely just gives you an idea. Now we're gonna keep looking at horses. There's a bunch of different tents and barns to go in. It's so crazy. This is a huge sale. Another point about the specialty sales is prices are usually a lot higher. Right now, the market is high in general for horses. And a lot of people are looking for sound, well broke, nice, even registered horses for under 10K. And yes, it can happen, but honestly, I've been seeing grade green horses sell for 10,000 plus, not even at specialty sales sometimes, but sales like this, if the horse is good looking, seems like it has decent training and has even a little bit of color, they're going to sell for a lot of money. Now, yes, of course you can get horses for under, you know, 5,000 and they might require a little work and be a fantastic horse, but just saying the prices are really high right now. So if you're looking to buy, just know that auction horses are going for big money. And then if you look at the online auctions, they're going for like 30, 50, even $100,000 sometimes just for like some draft type horses, crosses, even if they're really nice. I mean, it is big money you currently. Silly. You look like you're fun. You look goofy, like a big goof. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's gorgeous. Of course, I adore this gypsy horse. I love that the mane is well maintained and in braids just beautiful now traditionally cobs are a lot smaller and there's a lot of different names for them gypsy vanners gypsy cob irish cob whatever you want to say and traditionally they're between 12 and about 14.2 hands so they are smaller now some of the more american bred ones the gypsy vanners can be up to 16 hands i do like them around 14 hands high which is about what mushu is and he'll probably finish at 14 one but she was a little bit smaller 
because this is a specialty sale they do set up temporary stalls and tents so you can get a little bit of a better look here and there's just a few of them all over outside of the main buildings and even though this is primarily a crossbred draft sale they will have other breeds too like quarter horses appaloosas paints as you've seen before so you do get a little bit of everything so the variety yeah, like is really nice to see here <laughs> This Appaloosa seemed really gentle, had a great temperament, was really good with handling. I absolutely love the pattern. And again, I'm not just going to buy for color, okay? But I do love color. I think it's beautiful, but I'm into all types of horses. Anyways, so I'm just feeling the legs. Legs feel really good. This horse just looks so nice. And I'm going to guess this horse is around like 15 hands, give or take a little bit. Just super sweet and friendly and kind. Probably just a really nice all around type horse. Now, the only thing that sort of deterred me from buying the horse is that I do want a little bit larger horse just because I do have a lot of riders that are larger and even though I'm smaller I'm like five foot 120 pounds I do have other people ride my horses sometimes so I do like to get a slightly stockier horse but beautiful okay there are a ton of absolutely gorgeous horses here today I came with a potential to buy but it wasn't necessarily exactly what I was doing I just wanted to come and enjoy it there's so many amazing horses here today but I don't think I'm feeling like the connection with anybody that I'm gonna buy so that's kind of where I'm at right now we're gonna head back to the hitching area and I'm just gonna let you watch and listen and just see what it's like. Wow, look at this one. Look at this sub. That's gorgeous. you're getting a feel of what it's like to be here at this auction today and that you're learning a little bit along the way it's definitely a process but i did just want to let you watch and listen without saying anything or adding music for a little while so i hope you enjoyed that part This little gypsy reminded me of my gypsy vanner Mushu a little bit. Just fuzzy and hairy and cute. I can't wait to start him this summer. And this Frisian stallion reminded me of Jafar. Just so pretty. I do love Frisians. I think they're beautiful. Again, this sale goes on all week. They just have specialty items and horses on certain days. So they have all types of wagons, carriages, sleighs, anything you can think of. They're antique and they're just amazing. Now, I personally do not know how to drive. I do want to learn. At one point, I did have a sleigh. It was a Portland cutter, but we did decide to sell it just because it needed a lot of work and I knew we wouldn't have the time to put into it. It sort of looked like that red one right there. But yeah, I would like to learn. And like I said, I do plan on driving Buzz eventually. But like, look at these wagons. I just think it's fascinating and it'd be really fun to try someday. And I'm like a sucker for the big like Cinderella carriage. But like, check out these wagons. They even had this chariot. Is that not insane? It's really cool to just walk through and look at all the different types. And that number is going to be... And he has also 
$26,000. Every horse gets their picture taken after they go through the sale ring and their whole entire live stream is on their Facebook page. So like I said, there was nothing that I was super interested in where I just had to have it and couldn't leave the sale without bidding. And you know, like I'm not just buying to buy. I buy with intent and purpose and that's really important to me and I'm always going to stick by that. So there's so many other sales. And like I said, I just got Bell. I'm so busy. I'm gonna be training Mushu. If the right horse comes around, then I'm definitely open to that. But I just wanna make the right decisions with all the variables I have. Okay, horse lovers. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with me to this crossbreed sale. It was so cool. So many gorgeous horses. The prices were decent. And I just really hope that you learned something. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian. And I'll see you next time. Bye.